who wants to live forever? We can all live forever. I want to live forever. Now we will live forever. How long is a human life? Currently, the average lifespan for Americans is 77.28 years. However, most people believe that humans should live to around 100 to 120 years old. It's even in the Bible. Genesis 6, 3. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. Also, Deuteronomy 34, 7 tells us that Moses lived to 120 years old. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were not weak, nor his strength gone." End quote. Now, let's say you had the chance to decide how long you would live. What would you pick? 100 years? 1,000 years? What about 10,000 or even 20,000? Sounds insane, right? Well, think again. Right now, as you watch this video, there are transhumanist forces working towards that exact goal. You see, with the rise of gene editing technology and DNA modification, scientists are doing exactly that. They're trying to extend human life to 20,000 years. The future is great, but only for a very small fraction of all people. So you might imagine that a, a, a tiny elite or just a single nation or some subset of humanity get to reap the benefits of transhuman technologies and that the rest are left out. Um, and this is one of the reasons um, why um, transhumanist movement is active today, which is to try to work to uh, improve access to these benefits um, to all people and across the globe. Um, it's something that we m might very well be able to influence depending on what kind of decisions we make today. And it's a political struggle as well as a technological matter, whether um, the benefits will be equitably distributed. So imagine uh, a young woman, she's just given birth and then she, she needs to make the decision. Is she, is she going to have her baby modified? So say she, say she decides to do that. So this, you know, hypothetically, this grain of sand, in a sense, that's been nanotech, is uh, inserted into the human brain, that baby's brain, and it integrates itself into the brain. So that baby, in effect, is no longer human. Because, I mean, think about it. The capacity of that grain of sand is billions of times what the human brain can do. So for, I don't know, one billionth of its capacity of its time is it doing human things. And the other 99.9999999% of the time, it's doing artelecty type things. So that woman, in a sense, has killed her baby. Killed in the sense the baby is no longer human. It's effectively an artelect. It's an artelect in human disguise. Then it starts to give you abilities and you believe you can do things outside the normal realms of humanity. So your values, your morals start to change immediately. What I'm really interested in is to try to understand the bigger picture for humanity, our place in the world and what might lie in store for our species in the future, particularly the way we might use technologies to enhance ourselves or to uh, go beyond what we currently think of as our human nature, whether it might be by radically extending the human lifespan through um, solving the problem of aging or increasing our intellectual capacities, improving our memory, or taking control of our own emotional states. Um, I think that we are right now in a transitional phase um, where before the end of this century we will either have gone extinct or we will have most likely taken the step to become what you might call transhumans or posthumans or just very um, enhanced humans that have reached their full potential. And I think this transition is the most crucial phase of our species history. It's really, really important we get it right. Quote, the professor of molecular biogerontology at the Institute of Inflammation and Aging at the University of Birmingham in England talked with Scientific American about the tools needed to really impact human aging. And he isn't focused on gaining a few years here or there. He wants to add thousands of years to human lifespan. All it takes, he believes, 
is a new technology that's yet to be created that can eliminate aging at the cellular level, repair DNA, and reprogram cells for a drastically different aging process. He said, my hypothesis is that we have a very complicated set of computer-like programs in our DNA that turn us into an adult human being, he told Scientific American. But maybe some of these programs, as they continue into later life, become detrimental. He says that the key isn't so much finding the next drug, although certainly medicine has improved lifespan significantly and helped eliminate some of the leading causes of death. He believes that the medical intervention necessary for these extremely long lives will require finding a way to eliminate aging at the cellular level by reprogramming cells and genes critical to the aging process. His research has so far focused on animals seemingly outperforming similar species. These include such animals as the bowhead whale, with its 200 year lifespan, and the naked mole rat, which can live 30 years, while similar rodents just live a few. He said various long lived animals, such as humans, whales, and elephants, all have to cope with the same issues, such as cancer, but they use different molecular tricks to achieve their longevity. With bowhead whales, they seem to have much better DNA repair. He cites the P53 gene and its cancer suppression capabilities, as it's important to this long lifespan. And he says that there may be other genes we need to target. While adding in new drugs, rapamycin has shown to lengthen the life of animals as much as 15%. It has an impact. Achieving wild lifespans of 1,000 to 20,000 years would require cells that don't age. To figure out how to stop the cellular aging process in its tracks, humans need to be a bit more like a naked mole rat. In terms of cancer resistance and probably overall aging as well, it's their ability to respond to and repair DNA damage, he said, adding he believes aging is more of a software problem than a hardware problem. He believes, at least in theory, that humans can have radical interventions that rewrite genetic software and redesign human biology to delay or even reverse aging. In practice, it is difficult, but in theory, I think there's a huge potential. By huge, he means pretty much as huge as you can imagine. I actually did some calculations years ago and found that if we could cure human aging, average human lifespan would be more than 1,000 years, he tells Scientific American. Maximum lifespan barring accidents and violent death could be as long as 20,000 years. All it takes, he admits, is redesigning our biology to eliminate cancer and evade detrimental actions of our genetic code. He thinks we'll get there one day. We'll just have to wait and see if he's right. End quote. Crazy, huh? Seriously though, would you extend your life if you could? Or would you just let nature take its course? If yes, how long would you want to live? Put your answer in the comments. I'm curious to see how many people would actually want to live for 20,000 years because to me, that sounds like a nightmare that you can't wake up from. And I want to thank you all for watching this video. God bless you all.